Today is another milestone day for commuting on the Lower Mainland. This is the first full post-holiday weekday commute. You got that? Since the toll rose on the Portman Bridge. All eyes are on the number one, as well as the nearby Patello Bridge. Greg Harper is live in New Westminster this morning with more on that. Greg. Good morning, Kyle. Yeah, it's pretty easy to see what the, the busier side of the Patello Bridge uh, here uh, in New Westminster is this morning. The traffic uh, heading towards us, this is what we're paying uh, close attention to uh, this morning. These are drivers uh, heading west out of Surrey into New Westminster. How many drivers that we're observing this morning are choosing this route? to avoid the port man instead of paying those uh, higher tolls. That's the question here this morning. This will be the first commute for many since uh, Christmas. And there's some real concern uh, in the city of New Westminster that many drivers will decide to drive through New Westminster to cross over the Patello Bridge instead of the port man because of the rise in the toll that jumped from $1.50 to $3. We've seen a significant increase in truck traffic since the Portman Bridge opened. We have been uh, sounding the alarm about the uh, fact that the Portman doesn't connect directly to the South Fraser Perimeter Road and the impacts that will have on traffic in New Westminster. And what we have predicted, without being scientists, uh, has come true. So, Kyle, this is really about smaller vehicles because the toll jumped. It doubled uh, to $3 from $1.50. This happened on New Year's Day. Uh, for trucks, for larger vehicles, those tolls remain the same at $6 and $9. The commute over the next uh, few weeks is going to be interesting to see uh, what drivers decide to do.